Okay, so I've made an improvement to this circuit and it makes the world of difference. So it's basically the same circuit as the last video, but instead of me powering the flyback with the same power 12 volts as what I do the 555, I've given the flyback its own power source which should have really yes that, that should have been obvious in the first place I mean I saw I sort of knew it was that I had to give it some extra power um, whenever I turned up the the chip supply of course the 15 volt I would kill the chip hence the brown the burning over the, uh, the two to six pin bridge there um, so what I'm doing now is um, to be fair I've just been testing it on this but I'm just shifting up to here now because you've got more amps coming out of here um, I'm not really sure if I'm ready for that sort of jump yet but it worked here uh, at 24 volts I've got 12, 20 volts there um, and this is just being powered by this part 11 volts at 200 milliamps and so hopefully we well I say hopefully I've already done it and so I know it, we're going to get a lot better a lot better there let me just um, so 11 volts going into the 555 circuit and 20 volts going into the flyback and now if I first of all I'll just plug in the, the flyback because that's a switch and that's not going to do anything until I start um, turning the valve on the gate which I'm going to do now and there we go that is a much better and I wonder I mean that's, that's uh, 24 volts I wonder if I change this frequency now oh. lovely I don't know if anything's popped. Looking at my, um, there's a good possibility that one hour is pulling too much power through that. Uh, I adjusted the frequency. I'm pretty sure that the transistor, um, the MOSFET has died because I was there with 5.8 amps straight across, like it short circuited out. And that's fair enough. You know, I was a little bit silly then just turning that. Um, because I know this does make a, a big difference on how that operates and these particular 555 seem to have on the square wave some sort of noise associated with them let's see the 555 still works let's just turn it back on again at the supply and as you can see up there I'm going to hold that there It works. There seems to be Yeah, so that seems happy enough. I wonder if um, if this thing just went into some sort of thermal breakdown because of the heat. And there we go straight into high amperage there if I turn off the gate see if that works still straight into high amperage so I, well, I presume then that the, um, the, the chip's a bit knackered but that doesn't matter so well I know now that trying to drag 5 amps at 24 volts 20 volts 24 volts through this uh, will kill it because it will get hot very very quickly and and that's what's happened to this this has died because uh, you can see by the size of the heat sink that wasn't really going to dissipate very much and i sort of knew that in the back of my head and i figured i was just going to turn it up a little tiny bit see a nice little thing and then switch it off but of course i got a little bit excited as you saw and i started wanting to twiddle the knobs and such and off we died not a problem i seem to have a big bag of these i don't even know where they came from so I'm going to put another one in on a slightly bigger heatsink and 
just do some um, some tests turning the, the knobs but I'm going to restrict the power I'm going to restrict the ampage and I'm going to restrict uh, to 1 amp and the voltage to 20 volts which is still quite a lot of watts ok and I might even put it on one of these because that looks like that's probably going to do a better, better job at heat sinking as the surface area will probably could like to be more than this yes all round that's going to be better uh, so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the difference between the, uh, the IRF 3205 uh, the IRF uh, 6 630 and not those and the IRF 8 quarters because I've got a bunch of those um, I've got some other transistors I'm going to try as well but I'm just going to have a go with these um, see what this is have a go with these uh, oh this is a 718 ok but I need to look this up and see what this can do first so the ones that I know um, I can use will be these IRF 840s, like I said, the 630s and the 3205s. So, first of all, I'm going to go for all not, which I know is going to be the weakest, is going to be the 840. Um, we're going to chuck one on and pop it down there and see what happens. Just before I do that, I'm just going to, I've got myself a bit confused now with all these. These are my trusty, this is brilliant. This is a, a, a great a, a great buy, and I don't normally save up for a lot of the stuff that I get from abroad, and um, there's a lot of the stuff isn't very good. But this is what I like about this: is it doesn't matter what size transistor leads I've got, you know, I don't have to put them in some zip 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 connector. I can just connect it onto there. Now I can't remember if this one's faulty or not. It's self-test mode. It's faulty. It's faulty, that's what happens with this. It's how it comes up. Damaged parts, whatever. And this is the one that I killed a few moments ago. Um, now I know that these in the bags are, are generally okay. I've not tested every last one of them. Um, I think you have to be mad if you got 50 chips to come in to test them all. So I'm going to try the 840 first. Um, let's just make sure I get it in the right holes. She said. Okay, so this is the 840, and we're on. I'm going to put it onto. I'm going to set it. Come here. I'm going to set it to. Let's just go to 18 volts on the nose, and all of them are going to be exactly the same. The only thing that I can't do. There we go. 80, 18 volts. The only thing I can't really do is set this, but. I'm going to put it to 5 amps, right into the middle, I've got two little two little markers I've put here, so I know when it's pretty much at, uh, at 5 amps, and that's going to be the same for the 3 on this test. So, right, not further, can you, so that's already plugged in, it's already current going to, well, okay, that circuit's ready to go, it's, um, we just need to get that gate. Um, shifting some of this so let me just get my hand into an appropriate position for this and it's only going to be short bursts and I'm going to turn on the um, the supply now to the gate yeah not 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 great not really great at all so let's take that out slight warming of the heat sink Okay, so that's on there, and this is the um, this is the IRF uh, 630. Give it in now. Oh. Okay, so everything's going to stay exactly the same. All we're going to do is turn the power on. Uh, you can't really see that that well, can you? It's because of those lights. Oh. And then we can. Uh, I'll give it some gate signal. Yeah. Seems a bit better. A little bit better in the 840. A little bit better in the 840. Let's just hope I can see now. 
what I'm doing, and then we're gonna go for these um, the uh, IRF thirty two oh five. Okay, let's pop that in. Bit of a tight squeeze. Okay, everything the same. Power's the same. Everything's the same. Um, again, all we're gonna do is just turn on the gate. Okay. Well, at those settings, then I would say that it's possibly this, the IRF six thirty, was the better. Now, just make sure those are turned all the way to the sort of maximum. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back this. Oh, you can't see. I'm gonna back this pot off all the way to the left um, which means I'm going to be if I just disconnect that for a second just turn the gate on I'm making the height of the frequency just lowering the frequency turn it all the way to the left okay so turn that off again plug that power back into the big supply and I'm just going to see, I should have probably done that when I had the other chips uh, connected rather than disconnecting them and do it again like this, but I didn't expect that outcome to be that way. I thought the 3205 would be better. But, okay, well this is more part of the experiment, isn't it? It's what we're trying to find out. What? What? So, everything's still the same, same power and everything, except for I've turned that jeep cycle all the way back. Yeah, I don't think it likes that. So it prefers the the frequency being higher, most definitely. And if I just pull that out of there again, because what I want to do, I just pulled out the, the bigger power supply. And what I wanted to do, what did I want to do? I just wanted to um, double check what happens here. If I turn the other pot, see you again. Oh. Well, it's still just adjusting the frequency, really, isn't it? Why haven't I got a um, uh, yeah, frequency counter on channel one? Uh, 20 kilohertz back to a lot low, down to 17. So it definitely does take it down. So it wants to be as high as it can there, and that's 42 kilohertz there. And it seems to be seems to be happier like that. So, well, okay, that's not on the output either, that, that isn't the output of the MOSFET, that's the output of the 555, okay, so, hmm, um, I'll be going there if I remember, so if I turn up the voltage a little bit, let's turn that gate off, I'll just plug that back in again. I'm going to turn the voltage up to, uh, to 24 volts. There we go. There it'll smack on 24 volts. Yeah, and then we're going to just try this again. Let's make sure it stays still. So, apart from the amateur, still the same, everything's still the same. Power against the gate drive course is still the same, and let's say uh, just turn it on. Well, it's definitely still better than um, still better than what it was. Uh, without Oh that's the IRF eight forty. So this is the eight forty in here now. Given that little, uh, I don't know how that worked. I was pretty. I was. I seem to have lost my my thing on this now because I thought I'd just put a thirty two oh five in there, um, and that may have been the reason why it didn't give the results I was hoping for. So I'm I'm thinking this is going to give me better. So let's plug that in. It's all plugged in correct. 
Um, so I'm going to go back down to what were we on? We were on 18 volts, aren't we? I'm going to go back down to 18 volts because taking it up now is not really. Um, let me just set that to the middle. Uh, to, there we go. 18 volts. Because that's what we were testing on the other ones. And so let's have a go again with this. I should have probably checked to ensure that I got the right time. Uh, Okay, we got nothing. I don't think I'm plugged into the right holes. This is. Oh, I am. Let me just check. That's the 3205. 3205 it is. Okay, so that's plugged in there, definitely. Probably turn out to be a broken 3205. Turn that off. And let's give that gate a bit of welly again. That's plugged in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got we got nothing. We have nothing. So maybe I've got myself a dodgy. Very quickly, I'm just gonna chuck one of these other ones just straight in the holes. Okay, because I, uh, I just want a quick little there. Uh, and I'm gonna use. I do love the way these are all pinned the same. Okay, so let's give this a bit blast. Because uh, I was really expecting that just to work. And um, we seem to have a bit of a glitch in the matrix. There's a... Um, something. He's not doing what it's supposed to do. So, let's have a look at our, um, well we know all that side of things is working okay. But, and that side of things looks like it should be working okay. All right wires going to the right places. Yeah, let me just try this. Try this transistor. And that leaves a little bit of a heat sink. Unless it's got something to do with my heat sink. Is my heat sink cut into this this wire? Have we got a short in there or something? It's possible. Hmm. Yes, I think we have. Just for a second, it's gonna to have to just it's gonna to have to just behave itself and work. I think what I can do is I can just shorten that a little tiny bit and just and bring that down to ground there so I can pull it all in. So hopefully that's uh, a bit further away. Let's turn that off. Okay, and then see what we get with this. Yeah, I I think I think that's the better one. Now remember, I've, I've limited this um, to less. Well, it's it's, a, it's not limited. It's only limited by the. I start turning up the voltage. Yeah. So we can say that's a bit of a success. And so I know that was a bit naughty me turning up the voltage on that one, but from the little bits that I saw there, I think the 3205 is uh, is better in this configuration at these settings. Um, uh, for this so I'm a lot happier now um, that this this circuit um, performs better brilliant I'm gonna go for a success on that cheers for watching guys